decontamination process has started. Ooh, scan again. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Now where's that teleporter? Oh, there it is. So this is a teleporter. Thinking before we go any further, why don't we take a look at that journal that he made? I was going too fast. <laughs> like I was in the like I was in the 1940s. So, so the Soul Cube. Let's find it. Hmm. Teleportation experiments. This is the correct one. Okay. Three, two, one. Now. Pay attention to this My one. My name is Ian McCormick, and I am a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is or rather, was to assist Dr. Malcolm Petruger in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video log to let someone know what happened, and with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing. We were creating a new science, and the prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petruger. We noticed early on, uh, probably before we had completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level, transported, and then reassembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't, and we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back through showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the probe. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. But Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I, I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time. But a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. Oh. It seemed he was clinically insane. We started sending teams in about once every two days. The teams were reporting nightmarish experiences and sightings of things that ultimately made us conclude that the other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell and the creatures we were bringing back. Demons. And then Petruger, he went through the portal himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip and he, he just went and we couldn't stop him. And when he came back, he had changed. He sounded and looked the same, but he just, I, I don't know, he was, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the Soul Cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail, and, and then living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry, Ian McCor So that so that explains why hell erupted on Mars. So but so according to that, Betruga took the soul cube that was discovered in the ruins into that portal in the Delta lap in the Delta complex. And then the stabilizers in the portal started to fail. And then all hell broke break loose. Okay, so we're gonna use the teleporter. Now now get now okay now everybody get get your doggy bags ready. Okay, this is not going well.
Wow. Ooh. Oof, we made it! Half the cross. And we're not going to fall into the electrifying pit. Okay, we're all in full ammo and health here. Let's, we're going to the south part of the Delta Labs. And the good thing in this part is there's there's like a spe there's a mus little museum there. Well, we get to see some few of the specimens there, including like probably imps and revenants. But believe me, they won't attack you when they're in, the, in these stasis pots. Ah, uh, we so we got. Well, I see you. Where are you going? Got him. Uh oh, just have to command those zombie. Come on, German Nazi. Come on, you over Come on, you overgrown German Nazi! Now what? <gasps> Who the heck was that? Let me guess. Ow! <gasps> two imps! The duo! Ouch! Stop it! Let me guess. There's one single system we counted on the last video, am I right? <gasps> it's an arch file again! It's a Ouch! He scratched me! So like I said, we need to take care of him first. So like I said, we need to take care of the arch file. Oh! You're not an arch file! Oh, yeah, arch files don't have tentacles. <laughs> I got a question for you. I, I even got a question of the video, even though we're not nearly towards the end. How many, how many tentacles does an octopus have? Oh, there's another video. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. What oh, there's an imp over there. The specimens appear to be carbon based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resistant. So I'm, like, so I'm guessing that's a hell night, am I right? Internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, Pardon me. as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the portal. While the cost in human but there's a revenant in acquiring these specimens. We hope to one day complete genomic mapping and begin to answer the many questions we have about these entities. Yeah, let's we'll see what this imp does. Hmm. <gasps> Oops! I think he was trying to get out. Hmm. I look like a hell knife head. I'm. A And there's a revenant. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this. Hmm. Imp. Hmm. Ten eyes. The hell knight. And believe me, we'll, we will get to face the Hell Knights. I don't know what they were doing over there. Now, where is the way out of here? Oh, yeah. Who? Oh? Yeah? Someone up there? Please unlock the service hatch. Hmm. Not sure what else to expect. Oh, come, I'm coming. Ow. No, no, 
得。I better go check. Wow! Ow! Stop it! A guy here. Oh no! We lost him again. Too late to help him. First we lost Mr. Edwards, then the Sentry Bot. Who else have we lost? Three seven one. Shame we didn't get to see an alien. Shame we didn't get to see that. That like the called they call alien autopsy. If we if we see one, we'll be surprised. And besides, like and besides, Dill besides Dill Pickles would be pretty sad though if he didn't see one. Okay, yeah, done. I think the only way through there is go through there. A stasis chamber? But I can more stasis pods. Do you remember in Ben 10 Ultimate Alien? We saw the stasis pods where those five aliens were kept in when Agricor stored them. The only reason why he stored them was so he can take them back to his home planet and try to absorb all of their powers. They end up being stranded on Earth and the plumbers are... Ow! Me when I'm talking. Now where was I? Oh yeah. The reason why Aqua Girl put. Oh God! Now I'm who interrupted me when I was talking. And now, when I'm I'm facing more ebbs. Where was it? Now that might is just three, seven, one. Need to refill. Oh yeah, I was talking about the stasis parts on my right. Ouch! I was... I was about to talk as the imp started to leap. I better deal with more ends before I get to talk. Hey, get away from me! The envelopes? Oh great, now I'm going to find my own way around. You know, I would... Yes, we made it! <gasps> and got pounced in the face! And yet another imp. Oh, there's another video of this. Phew, that was eventful. That was an eventful battle. Battling imps in the dark. Again. Let's see now. A special mistake says me. I know you've already seen it already. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which has complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the portal. While the cost in human life has been great in acquiring these specimens, we hope to one day complete genomic mapping and begin to answer the many questions we have about these entities.